Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Astro Near. So, with the precursors to the 1.0 update coming out for Astro Near towards the end of this year, they have released the 0.9 update, which has added two small features to the game. Okay? Two little changes to the game. However, those two little changes have had quite a big effect on the overall way the game works in general. Now you might be thinking, what the hell are those two things in the background? Well, that's one half of the new 0.9 update. These are shredders. We have our large shredder and we have our medium shredder. This shredder, shredder you can actually fit onto the back of a large rover and I've seen some screenshots and it looks quite ridiculous. <laughs> So just before you all ask, I am using a little uh, a little cheat menu thing to uh, give me infinite energy and infinite suit oxygen, so that I don't die while I'm doing this uh, this little video here. Uh, I'll try and keep it as short as I can. So those are the shredders, and the other part we have are called exorex. Now you can have things like solar and wind farms, wreck dropships, abandoned spaceports, all that kind of jazz. And as you can see here, we have some uh, little tethers, but they're broken. They're so cute. <laughs> uh, basically, what you do is just dig them up. You can't, uh, usually, if you want to uh, put a tether in your backpack, you should take it. But you can't put these on your backpack, okay? The same goes for this. You see, it's completely and utterly broken. So you can pick up the various pieces of it. I don't know where that last piece went. Oh, well, I'll find it later. And obviously, this solar panel is working because it's not. <laughs> it doesn't say debris on it. It actually says solar panel. So of course, it's a functioning solar panel so we can come and pop that on our base for any power issues we are having at the moment and we will drag these guys back over to our shredders now what this does is when the shredder shreds massive things like this it gives us out a new resource and depending on the size of the object you put in depends how much of this resource you get out and this resource is called scrap now, scrap is going to be the new resource that is used with the trade port to uh, to bring in, well, resources that you can't get your hands on without going to other planets. So, what I do like about this is they've, because previously you could just slap some resources, you could go mine a load of resources, slap them on the trade port, and then bring back, you know, lithium and all kinds of rare resources to train. And it pretty much negated the it pretty much negated the need to go to other any other planet the same way that the um, the same way that the mineral extractor still does negate your need to go to any other planet, which is why I refuse to ever use it because I think it's completely and utterly game breaking. Now there is no on and off switch for this. Have I just dropped that through the planet? I have just dropped that through the planet. Wonderful. So, I've gone and gotten the uh, the little broken tether. Now, you'll see, obviously, different sizes. I haven't actually tried this out, but I'm hoping that different sized um, wrecks and different sized scrap material will give me different amounts of scrap. So, we're back in the game. The first item that I just put in there froze the game so hard that it actually broke my cheat menu. Legit. I just I just restarted my cheat menu and it doesn't work. <laughs> the game completely locked up to the point where I had to end it in Task Manager. That was quite ridiculous. Anyway, I'm hoping that different sized items put out different amounts of scrap. Now you can obviously put items in here as well. I'm wondering if you can only put very small items because it's only a medium shredder. Yep, you can only put very, very small items. Uh, where does it actually come out in this one? If I put that on the wrong way. 
Oh no, it comes out the side. There's just hardly any of it. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Right. Let's see what the difference is in speed between a small item and a large item. Can you actually... It won't actually shred it. Are you serious? What are you supposed to do with these then? Huh. Okay, that's interesting. It won't actually shred large objects. Right, okay, that's interesting. So I very quickly disappeared off to a nearby wreck. So it will do that, but it won't do that. Huh. Well, okay then. Right, so this little chappy is scrap. And of course, you're going to put scrap onto a trade platform and use it as basically the new resource to... It's, it's like, it's almost like the new money, <laughs> the new money in Astro Nier. I'm, I'm really quite baffled that there are items now that you would think are debris to put into the, especially, especially a big one, like, especially a big shredder like this. I can, un I can completely understand a small shredder like this not handling one of these. I can completely understand that. But something of this size not handling this? I mean, it might just be a bug in the game. Don't get me wrong. It might just be a bug in the game. But it does raise some questions without a doubt. As always, ladies and gents, thank you very much for watching. If, uh, if you do like Astro Near, then check out my Astro Adventure Season 1 and 2. I have some chaos back in those days. And we will be continuing Astro Adventures once 1.0 comes out but currently there is just not enough in the game for me to keep things going and keep things fresh and creative as always ladies and gents if you want to keep up to date with my content links in the description to my facebook twitter and steam group if you want to keep up to date with my uploads and everything that goes up on my channel i i think we almost we almost have a video coming out every single day now it's getting quite chaotic it really really is and i'm so so close to my new internet connection and so close to streaming it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a lot of fun the rest of this year as always ladies and gents thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video